What it is, what it ain't, to the Cowboy Nation and the Cowboy Headquarter. It's your boy, G, the number one Cowboy fan. Have to come at you live, direct, and correct. And yes, I got some news that you can use. Good evening, everybody. How is everybody weekend going? Well, for me, I'm excited, I'm relieved, and I'm happy. Okay? We are now 3 and 0. You understand? 3 and 0. And let me give a big shout out to my brother in law, Dan Mathis, up there in Detroit. My man. He brought to my attention that it's been 11 years since the Cowboys has started as a 3 and 0 team. How about that? So thank you to, brother, to my brother in law, Dan, man. Thank you for uh, uh, yeah, giving me that look. Uh, inside scoop because we definitely now we know how about that so anyway before we get started I want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in to uh, for liking this channel for sharing the uh, the videos comment on the videos and just following uh, uh, me as we come together together in the hunt well we come to the, in the huddle and we draw up plays and we talk about plays we discuss plays and we get ready for the next game is it possible that we can go four and oh is it possible Ooh -wee. wouldn't that be nice to go four and oh because tell them saints here we come baby we coming for you saints but anyway um uh, thank y'all once again man for you guys just 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 hanging in there got right here behind you it's the highlights of the the uh giants and cowboys game and like i always tell y'all don't get caught up watching that game just just kind of look over there like this and come on back just just look over like that and come on back don't stay over there okay i turn it off but anyway and that's my pops over my shoulder sitting right there he looking at me that's my pop long live the parkers man you know what i'm saying so anyway so um uh, yeah so Man, what do y'all think, man? Well, let me, let me say first of all, man, my concerns, my concerns before the game even started, for whatever reason, man, I had this, this, this funny feeling. Did y'all have a funny feeling? Or did y'all just know we just going to go in there and blow them out? Well, me, being a realist, I had said to myself, I said, man, you know what? And I said, what? No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I wonder if my wife heard that. She didn't hear that. Anyway, so yeah. So I'm thinking about this, and I'm like, man, this could be a trap game. This could really be a trap game. Why we going in there? Who right now? It's just Miami Dolphins. But you said that they was a professional team, so we need to prepare like a professional team. So I just kept saying, I said, man, you know what? We better be careful. It's a possibility, man. We go in this game. And find ourselves in a trap. And I kept saying, I said, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised they do this onside kicks. What did they do? Onside kick. I said, I wouldn't be surprised they do a fake punt. I was go I wouldn't be surprised if they did a flea flicker. And guess what they did? Half back. No, it was a flea flicker. They did. I knew for whatever reason, I felt that they was gonna do a lot of trick plays. They're gonna try to do whatever they can. What they have to lose? They had nothing to lose. Man, they kind of remind me. Man, Miami remind me of my son's Pee Wee football team. Hey, boy. <laughs> no, that's not right. That's not right. It's my son's first year coaching, man, and me up. It's, and they got a first year team. And, you know, it's growing pains. But I try to go out there and help them when I can. But we scored our first touchdown. We scored our first touchdown. And these babies, man, they, they play hard. Uh, they give all they got, you know, just about the coaches uh, having, to, having to coach these little kids up. But they're going to be okay because we are implementing a new offense. We're putting some Keller Moore offensive play. No, just kidding. But, no, we are vamping up their offense and their defense, basically setting it up to where that what, that accommodates their strength. You understand? They're not a real big key team, and they're playing a lot of big teams. Our two teams are huge. But and these boys are mostly nine year olds playing against a lot of ten year olds. I know, right? Oh, that's what I said. Oh, yeah, but they're gonna be all right. It's this their rookie. This their rookie year. But come next year when they all ten, they're gonna be a lot better. So anyway, but anyway, so yeah, that was one of my concerns about the Cowboys. I said, man, I sure hope this is not one of those setup games, man, or trap games. And sure enough, man, they kept it close for that first quarter. They actually kept it close. 
And I was a little leery because basically what my what I wanted to see is for us do the same thing the other two teams did to them. Go out there, and if you want to be a prominent team, you have to do like these prominent teams did to them in weeks one and two. So we got a slow start, but overall we uh, did pretty good. Uh, the score ended up being 31 to 6. Kept them out the end zone, baby. Kept my end zone. So we scored 10 points in the first quarter. They scored three points in the first quarter. We, man, that second quarter was ugly. It was ugly. That that second, we didn't score. We scored absolutely no points in the second quarter. We was out of rhythm. We was out of rhythm. But it seemed like the momentum, momentum was more with the Dolphins than it was with us. I don't know what we. But did y'all notice also? One of one another one of my friends brought to my attention, Mr. Lee, uh, Benny Lee had said something. Uh, that brought to my attention too. He said, you know, why is it that we wasn't doing any pre-snap, uh, pre, uh, pre-motion snaps? Okay. For whatever reason, we, we wasn't doing that. So I'm thinking, okay, are they trying to, are they trying to disguise their plays? So, so the saints, uh, couldn't figure their offense out or what, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, sometimes teams do that. So, that's what I'm thinking. I told him the same thing. I said, man, you know what? Whatever it is, they better get it together because we don't have time to be trying to disguise our play. We need to do whatever we need to do to win this game. So second quarter was terrible. Uh, third quarter, the Dolphins scored absolutely zero, absolutely nothing. We scored 14 points in the third quarter. In the second, fourth quarter, man, they scored absolutely nothing, the Dolphins. And we scored seven. So, hey, it uh turned out better than I I wanted to uh, than I thought because man I was just like we have to put up thirty points in order to be a prominent team or a team to, to be uh, to be uh, recognized we had to put up thirty one points we really did I didn't want to win no ten to six I didn't want to win thirteen to six I wanted to win thirty one to six listen this is the NFL you can't feel sorry. For, for a team that's 0-2 or 0-3, you can't feel sorry for them because guess what? If they get a, if they get a chance to beat you, they're going to beat you. So we did what we had to do. We beat them. You understand? This is football, the NFL. And it's, that's, I, the last time I checked, every team that's under the NFL are a professional team. Right? All right. So anyway, that's what it was, man. Listen, we guess what? We took Zeke out. Okay, with that Tony Pollard getting that Tony Pollard scored, Pollard scored his first touchdown. How about that? So let's go over some stats real quick. Man, oh man, Dak was stinking up the place for a minute. Golly, woo! Dak was missing targets. I don't know what was going on, but you know what? I, I once again, I, I I really think that boils back down to playing to their level. Okay, and one thing, let me say this also. Did y'all see our division? We three and zero. Eagles 1 and 2. The Giants 0 oh and 2. Maybe going to be 0 oh and 3. And then the uh, Giants are 0 oh and 2. Maybe 0 oh and 3. Say, hey, man. Boy, we starting off on the good foot. But anyway, so yeah, let's talk about Des Prescott. Des Pre- Dak Prescott was 19 of 32. Ugh. Ugh. For 246 yards, two TDs, one interception. He was sacked one time. And guess who he was sacked by? Taco. South Taco Charlton. That's who he was. He was sacked by. Uh, we'll talk about Taco later. But yeah, so uh, uh, Dak had uh, 246 yards with two TDs and one interception. Uh, rushing yards. Zeke Elliott had 19 carries for 125 yards. No touchdowns. Wow. No touchdowns. Woo. Wonder what he looked like on fantasy. Tony Pollard had 13 carries for 103 yards. This is the first time the two running backs. Have had uh, over 100 yard rushing in one game in a long time. I don't, I don't know the year and time, but anyway, yeah, we had two running backs over 100 yards. And I had Tony Pollard, Pollard on my darn fantasy. Why did I drop? I don't know, because I suck at fantasy football. That's right. I said it. I suck at fantasy football. Oh, I'm losing like crazy. I'm 0 2. I'm just like Miami Dolphins. I don't know which is worse. Uh, Dak Prescott had two carries for seven yards, and he had one TD. How about that? So we had a total of yards of 235 yards rushing. Uh, yeah, sure did. Uh, receiving. Amari Cooper did that thing. Did y'all see Amari? What? Amari Cooper say, you know, me and Dak go together like, 
catch up on a hamburger because it just tastes so good. That's what he said in his interview. He said, man, me and Dak go together like catch up on a hamburger. Kind of remind me of one of them Burger King burgers. Y'all know anything about Burger King. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, old Coop had six receptions for 88 yards with two TDs. His longest catch was for 30, 37 yards. He was targeted seven times. And the old man, Jason Witten, Jason Witten had three receptions for 54 yards. Say, man, the old man got them youngsters stuck on that bench. Yeah, he do. He got them youngsters stuck on the bench. Oh, oh winning back. We went and caught the ball one time, slapped that dude upside the head. He's like, get off of me. Just slapped him upside to him and ran around. I thought that dude was mad. He had to be mad. Golly. Well, I picked up De Devin Smith on my, my fantasy roster. Just thought it was going to be a wise choice because, you know, hey, we playing the Dolphins. Devin Smith had two receptions for 39 yards. killing me you're killing me smith you're killing me tony pollard had three receptions for 25 yards not bad what am i drink at y'all hold mm -hmm. on let me drink my drink mm -hmm. i did that so y'all could see that back there y'all see that cowboys all around me man that's all it is cowboy cowboys everywhere um uh, also a big shout out to my cousin man i know y'all did the little old football game at the house man but Man, I was I was in the house of worship this morning, man. You know, so I just came on to the crib, man. After that, but I'm I saw a video y'all turning up over there, representing them Cowboys like we always do. I'm sure y'all smoked a cigar for me, so appreciate you. Uh, yeah. So we had Tony Pollard, then we had Randall Cobb. Dang, man, Randall Cobb only had two catches for 23 yards. I mean, don't, don't know what's going on. Uh, Zeke Elliott had two for 14. Blake Jarwin had one for three. He killed me. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, matter of fact, uh, Donald, uh, Donald, Donald, Demarcus Lawrence had uh, one fumble recovery. Uh, and Jalen Smith tops the chart of the stats of the defensive plays with 10 total tackles, eight solos. How about that? Followed by uh, Cheeto Awizi. Awizi A. Chido, Ch Chidobe, Chidobe Owihize, that's his name, I like that, Chidobe Owihize, Owihize, that's really cool, I like that, uh, he had eight tackles, five five solos, so, and on and on, oh, late, uh, Leighton uh, uh, Van Der Esch had six tackles, six total tackles, two solos, Robert Quinn was on that thing, man, Robert Quinn, Told y'all about Robert Quinn, man. The boy got some wit, man. You know what, man? He, he catches grass. Yeah, if y'all don't know what that is, catching grass is when you're coming from that defensive end spot. And you're in that three-point stand. And when that ball is snapped, you dip that shoulder getting around that. See how I have him? Dip that shoulder trying to get around that offensive lineman and tackle. You turn your hip, drop your shoulder. And that's what's called. And the lower you can get to the ground... Like this, y'all watching me. The Lord, you can get to this ground like this, the quicker you can get to that quarterback. And my man Quinn did that. That hey, Quinn, I'm watching Quinn, man. Y'all go back, watch Quinn, man. Quinn. Quinn goes around, man. Quinn goes around that edge, man, catching grass, man, get to that quarterback. So he he uh, did some good things as well. So anyway, we're not even going to talk about the Dolphins yet. We'll go back to the Dolphins in a little bit, but let's keep it moving. Oh. Uh, but let's talk about who was inactive, man. Y'all 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 were the ones that was inactive, man. We got some folks that was out, man. Um the inactives, uh the injury report. Well, we had Michael Gallup. You know, Michael Gallup was gonna be out, I think, two to four weeks, I think. Uh, with uh, his knee injury. Uh Tavon Austin is another one. He's still under con concussion protocol. Uh Xavier Woods is dealing with an ankle issue. Tyrone Crawford is dealing with a hip issue. Antoine Woods is thinking of dealing with a ankle issue. Luke Gifford is dealing with a uh, ankle issue, I think. And I don't know who Brandon Knight is. Who is Brandon Knight? Anybody know Brandon White? I mean Brandon Knight. I have to find I have to look look into who Brandon Knight is. But he was on he was on the uh, Yeah, leave in the comment. If y'all know who Brandon Knight is, leave in the comment so I can get to know this guy. 
but I don't know him. So yeah, we had uh let's see who else didn't somebody else go down? But uh no, let me say this, man. I tell you what, uh the dude that stepped up and uh I was really surprised at this guy, man. His name is Darian Thompson. Darren Thompson stepped in for uh Xavier Woods, man. And uh what my phone is going off or something. Sorry about that. But uh yeah, Darian Thompson, man, he stepped in. And uh he stepped in for stepped in for Xavier Woods. So Darian Thompson is from uh the Giants. He's originally from Boise State. The Giants picked him up back in 2016. He played for the Giants for two years, I guess. I'm guessing what's what he got four years experience of it, then he was somewhere else. But anyway, he comes from uh Boise State. So he's uh 6'2, weighs 211 pounds, uh he's 26 years old and got four years of experience. So um hey man, you know, this dude stepped up. I was really impressed with Darian Thompson. He wore number 23 the safety. He made some Key plays. He stopped that one uh, touchdown, man. He stuck his head in there and made that tackle on that running back. So, uh, yeah, man, I, hey, I like this dude. I don't know uh, how they're going to work this out, but they're going to have to figure something out. But, hey, I, I was really I was really impressed with him, man, for what all they did. So, uh, overall, man, at the end of the day, the, it was – we did what we supposed to have done. Because we came out that third quarter, man. I mean, it was like a lot. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what happened at halftime. Especially for that defense. Y'all already know who it was. Chris Rashad. Ooh-wee. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in that line. Boy, I know that joke. Man, I tell you, boy, I know he chewed some folks up. Because when they came out that third quarter, y'all saw it say. Them boys in that front line because we was having some problems. We was actually having some problems with our, our front four. And I understand three of our line was out, but, you know, next man up. Even Chris Richard talks about that. Next man up. You got to be ready when they call your number. But in that first half, man, we just wasn't bringing no pressure. It was like, you know, we had Kerry Hyder on the inside along with, uh, I guess that was uh, Malik Collins. Malik Collins on the inside. And then we had Quinn. And then we had... DeMarcus on that. DeMarcus, I was kind of, what's going on with y'all that first half? But, hey, they came out in that third quarter. Chris Richard probably went over there and talked to the offense, too. Now, if you want to get somebody fired up, you go tell Chris Richard, hey, man, I need you to fight these dudes. He know how to get get them right. And that's exactly what they did. They came out in the third quarter, and uh, they did that thing, man. But, anyway, um, yeah, the old man, Jason Witten. So, let's go to the op let's go to observation time. It's observation time, time, time. And what I mean by that is let's go back and let's just observe on, on some of uh, the players that, which I've already talked about, Darren Thompson. Uh, Taco Charlton, once again. Y'all remember, man, what happened with Taco Charlton? Charleston. He, he was on Twitter. He was on Twitter, man. My phone is ringing. Let me see if I can answer this, man. Watch this, y'all. Hello? Oh, shoot, I hung up. Hey! Not much, what's happening? Hey, can we run a, can we run a formation with, like, in the pistol with, like, that JoJo, and then either had a Pierre and Rodney in the backfield, and then Trey on the wing. Can you run the formation like that? So you just want to use the, the the two in the backfield, and then you want to use yeah one on one on his left, one on his left side, or, or his switch right side, and then just one right behind him, and then and put uh either Trey on the wing or a receiver, and put somebody just kind of open the options. Open the options. Yep. So you fake the dive, fake the. Fake the read run, and then you can do the, the jet sweep. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to look at that. Sounds good. But uh, I, was just thinking, uh, I, I really was over here watching the Saints. <laughs> oh, watching the Saints. Well, I'm right in the middle of doing a Dallas Cowboy video, and I'm putting you on my video, and you talking about the Saints. We yeah, are, I, watched, I watched the 
definitely watch them boys. Yeah, I want that defense. Yeah, but defense, they wrong. That's what I want. Yeah. So yeah, draw it up and we'll look at it. But I'm right. I got you right here on my video, my cowboy video, and you talking about the Saints. Nah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we'll look at it tomorrow. All right, man. All right. Later. See what I'm talking about? Talking about the Saints. We ain't running no Saints on film, but then again, we might will. <laughs> I just got through talking about it a while ago. <laughs> Here he is, he called. But he got some good ideas, but that's good for him, man, because I want him to uh, learn how to do I've been doing. I've been coaching Pee Wee football for over 20-something years, and I'm retired now. So I'm their, I'm their advisor. I made the advisor, so... I like what he's talking about. It might it might work pretty good. So anyway, so back to what I was saying. Talk talk talk. Soft taco Charlton. <laughs> soft taco, but soft taco actually got a sack on deck. Did y'all see that? Now why you had? To, wait a minute. I was looking at Taco in his face, man. When they showed his face, he looked like he wanted to cry like him. I'm gonna tell you something. And this is from this is from experience. When you play for the Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys. Ain't no other team out there like it. <laughs> you can look around. I I couldn't even tell you what team is close to as far as the the exposure, the the modern facility, and all, and just the the wealth that the Dallas Cowboys. I tell you what, when my son left Dallas, he went to <laughs> go visit Cincinnati. He says, I ain't gonna say, it, but Cincinnati ain't the Dallas Cowboys. In Cincinnati, and he he made it known, man, pops. Cincinnati ain't nothing like the Cowboys. Cause once you're a Cowboy, you want to stay a Cowboy because everybody else, man, it, it's like the Cowboys, playing for the Cowboys like being in a five-star hotel and everything else is, yeah, I ain't going to call no names. You, yeah, I've been to those motels. They're no longer hotels, they're motels. Yeah. That's where it's, I'm telling you, man. Man, one day we, uh, we left the parents we left the parents section. No, we was trying to get to the parents section. And, you know, we had these paths to go through the stadium and everything. And uh, we was running late, so it was a group of us. So Dallas, the, the, Dallas has this, man, I don't know what it was. They took us, like, underground, man. This is like this big old socialized room with some big wigs. You know, they all uh, black suit, you know, white, you know, black suit, black tie. It was a black tie event. And you know they all, but we walk. We got our, we had our cowboy stuff on with my hat turned back. Cause there's no, we trying to get to the game. So we walk. So I guess it was an usher. He took us through this place to get us there a little quicker. I'm like, well, man, where this place come from? Say, there's money in Dallas with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm telling you. So we we goes through there, man, and and we looking around. Who are all these folks, man? They drinking champagne and they they ain't even watching the game. It might be sponsors and you know what I'm saying, corporations down there. They in there drinking and socializing. I'm like, man, y'all ain't got no TV in it. But it was a big old, big old, like a big old room or something. But anyway, so yeah, but like I said, when you play for the Dallas Cowboys, man, it's like going from a five star hotel to maybe a two or three, three at the best. Yeah, <laughs> real talk. So anyway, uh, what was I saying about the Dallas Cowboys? But yeah, so yeah, oh Taco, Taco looked like he wanted to cry. Like man, I can't believe they got rid of me. Well, Taco, guess what you did? You sit up there on Twitter talking all that trash, talking about what what they you know they don't play me. They can release me. Okay, we are gonna give your wish. Yeah. Now what? It wasn't no trade, Playboy. They cut you. <laughs> You just so happened to land on the worst team in the league. God! But, hey, kudos to you, boy. You got your sack. I got to give you that. But, anyway, so, yeah, Taco Charles, man, uh, was on, got him a sack on, on, on Dak. Boy, he can write that, chalk that up as a win for him. The old man, like I say, Jason Witten, he did his thing, man. He did his thing, man. Stepped up. He got them youngsters sitting back on his bench, man, while he do his thing. Wow. I didn't know that was going to happen, but Witten is actually a starter. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking Witten was going to be the one coming off the bench, but. <laughs> man, if I was Blake Jones and, and, and Schultz, man, I'd be mad to move. Man, take your old cell phone somewhere and let us play. But. 
Wooden still showing that, man. I got a little something now. He ain't the yak yard. The yard's out to catch. He ain't going to get that. But he, he going to, well, he did one time. So, but yeah, Wooden doing his thing. So, that's a good thing. Uh, who else? Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard saw his first touchdown. Tony Pollard had over 100 yards a day, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, that was great for uh, Tony Pollard. He needed that that experience. Robert Quinn. We talked about Robert Quinn. Robert Quinn did his thing. Uh, who, oh, man, this <sighs> Chidobe Awizie. Man, they was picking on him today. They was picking on, they was picking on Chido, uh, 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 Chidobe Awizie. They was picking on him, man. He was giving up some stuff, man. I don't know. They saw something on tape. So watch these Saints. They're going to probably try the same thing. But anyway. That's enough about the Cowboys. Now let's go into the Dolphins corner. Let's go talk a little bit about the Dolphins. And first off, we want to talk about the bright side for the Dolphins. The bright side was that they kept the game close in the first half for about 30 minutes. That's the bright side. Man, y'all hung in there for about 30 minutes. Y'all hung in there, man. Y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all tried. Y'all worked on it. But you fell short. Team fell short. But they they, they kept it close first half, about 30 minutes. But, you know, after that. Also, uh, <laughs> Miami, well, the Dolphins have a, a negative 117-point differential through three games this six season. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna say a negative. Let's just say a hundred and seventeen point differential. Wow, dude, they they scoring on y'all. Everybody shooting three pointers on them dudes, man. Anyway, so uh, yeah, the Dolphins got that going on. Uh, also, man, yeah, man, Alan Hearns was once also another guy that. Played for the Cowboys, got cut, got released, cut, whatever you want to call it. End up with the Dolphins. Now, one thing about Alan Hearns, man, good guy. Got to say a good guy, but he just didn't fit the, fit the mold of what we was trying to do over here. But remember, man, he broke his leg, broke his ankle when he was here. And he was out for the season. And, and just today... He was going for a pad. Him and old Jeff, he was going for a pad. I mean, it was, a, it was a train wreck. I mean, boom, train wreck. Sure enough, Alan Hearn was out. So, Dallas hadn't been really good for Alan Hearn, but we wish him the best. But it is, it is told that he is going to be staying here in Dallas with another uh, member from the Dolphins. For further observation, try to see. I'm sure it's gonna be a, a, a concussion protocol. What is wrong with these dudes, man? Why is everybody getting concussions? Man, back in the day, man, man, I, I remember back in the during forty. I don't remember, but that was a the time they were wearing leather helmets, man. They wasn't getting concussions. These jokers wearing some darn padded helmets now, with face masks and everything. They get more concussions than the guys back in the forties. Oh, the game has got so soft, just like soft taco. But it is what it is. So anyway, so uh, anyway, yeah, that's what's going on in Dolphin Corner, and that's about all I got to say for today. I done took up 30 minutes of your time, and I sure appreciate y'all listening. Cause happy y'all ain't listening to the whole video anyway. You know what y'all? Press the notification button so you'll be notified on the next video. But I appreciate y'all stopping by. Support it and like it, it once again. And remember to follow us up. Follow us on the information booth on Facebook, where we post other uh, topics and videos of our cowboys. And like I always say, don't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. So 